in this video. Oh, you can see the edge of my backdrop. <laughs> this is pretty wide. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool 4th of July centerpiece. And I have a mix of things here. I have some Dollar Tree. I have some Hobby Lobby. I have some Michaels. I have a handful of things. But um, anyway, now in this video, I do touch base on something. Someone had left a comment on my previous video flat out calling me an idiot for the way I left my, uh, my solar yard stake, how I utilized that in that craft. And I do touch base on that in this video. So when I get to that part, now you know why. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Alrighty, let us get started. So first off, what you're going to need, one of these awesome little hats. Now this hat came from Michaels, I believe. Yeah, this one came from Michaels. Um, Dollar Tree has some, and here are some that I found at Hobby Lobby. Now these are cardboard. My kids wanted to play with them. But as you can see, these are kind of flimsy. And if this is going to be in a centerpiece that you're going to put outside, I don't know, you know, how well this would stand up to being outside for any length of time. But um, they're not very glittery. And the decorations that I have that's going to go in it are very glittery. So that's why I chose this one. This glitter can reflect that glitter and kind of pull it all together. But anyway, yeah, this was um, $1.99 at Michael's. I have a foam block from the Dollar Tree. I have a bunch of red, white, and blue flowers from the Dollar Tree. These rocks are also from the Dollar Tree. This is just gonna be used for a little bit of weight, just to hold that down. And then all of these sparkly doohickeys that I got from Hobby Lobby. All right, let's get these over here. And I got a bunch of these little uh, firecracker looking guys. They're all sparkly, and I've got some of those little, um, oh my gosh, I can't ever think of them, pinwheels. <laughs> I've got some of those from the Dollar Tree. I've basically just got a whole bunch of stuff here that we're going to put in this hat. Not very difficult, but still, I wanted to make a video. It's more like an idea video, you know, because I know that you don't need me to show you how to put flowers in a hat, but here we are. All right. This foam, I'm going to open it. Now, I'm not going to glue this foam down in here, okay, because for me, this is not going to be like a permanent decoration. I'm probably going to take it all apart when I'm done using it so that I can reuse the different elements to make something later. But if you're going to have this as a permanent fixture in your 4th of July decorations, you might want to glue this piece of foam down in here. Now, this is like a flimsy type of plastic, so if you're going to use hot glue, I would highly suggest you use low temp glue. Don't use the high temp stuff because then you're just going to burn a hole right through its little bottom and you don't want to burn your bottom. That ain't good. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a bag of these rocks. Just pour down in there. That should be plenty. That will stop it from blowing over. And then I'm going to set my foam on top of that. If you want to glue your foam down, then put the rocks in. That's your choice. Um, oh, I also have some of these little solar sticks. Now, listen, let me say something here for a minute. On my previous video where I used one of these solar sticks in a decoration, so many people said, you know that you can pull the bottom out and it makes a stake, right? Yes, I know that. But where are the little buckets? This was the bucket that I used, okay? Yes, I know that you can pull the ends out. I've used these so many times before. You just pull them out like this, and then this is the part that sticks down in the ground. Do you see this? Way too tall for my bucket, which is why I didn't use this. If you want to trim this off and stick it down in this foam for this hat thing here, you can, but be careful because I've done it before and then it splits all the way up. This cracks and comes apart and then it's pretty much useless, okay? So that is why I like to leave my spikes turned the opposite way depending on what I'm using. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway foam is down in there. Now the only thing left to do is just stick everything down in there. All of the little flowers, which I think I want the flowers kind of down here, which is why I kind of cut them kind of short, just like this. All right, so that's white. Let's move that so that y'all can see. And then blue, and we'll put a blue around that. I want these to kind of stay low. Let's see, where's another red? I don't even have my wire cutters in here, dadgummit. But anyway, I like to cut these things apart 
cuddle it while I'm watching a movie or something. So I just sit on my couch and cut them apart. There we go. And I think I left my wire cutters in there. All right, there we go. Now I'm just going to stick another blue one on this side. Okay, now let's find a red one. Uh, that was kind of long too. I don't know. I'm going to cram that down in there without having to bend it. Maybe. Oh, there we go. All right. So now I have that kind of arranged in there. And I think what I might want to do is put another layer of flowers on the back side. I don't know. Um, I might do that. That will look better. And then we're just going to take these little doohickeys. I don't even know what to call these. I think I already cut the tags off of them. Just take these and I just like to kind of spin these outwards a little bit so they're not as compact. And then you can spread them out and it covers more area than if you leave them all compacted down. <laughs> all right, so now let's go. I guess we'll keep the white in the center with the red and blue on either side. There we go. We'll do the same thing with this doohickey over here. Just spread it out a little bit. Like I said, so simple. I didn't need to do a video, but I like doing them. Uh, all right, white in the middle. And let's do a blue. And we'll do a red. These are kind of heavy. And then once I get all these stuck down, in, let him go. Once I get all these stuck down in there, we'll just go with the little fireworks looking things. I think I left my pinwheels in the car. Daggum it. Either that or my kids got a hold of it. They're probably smacking each other around with them. All right. All right. Now we can kind of bend these up. I know this is a difficult angle for y'all to see. But anyway, I'm just going to fan these out a little bit and work with that. Now these, you can see this is a whole bunch of stuff all wired together. These were $4.99, but they were on sale. A bunch of this stuff is wired together, so... I want to try to bend it and work with it so that I don't have to cut it apart because then everything's going to fall to pieces. So anyway, I'm just going to take this and stick down in there. And then I, let me go get my pinwheel and some other things. And I'm just going to work with it and <laughs> see what I can come up with. But anyway, I will be back in just a minute. All righty, here we go. Yeah, you can probably see the edges of my backdrop. <laughs> it's okay. This thing's fairly wide. But anyway, yeah, I just cram some more flowers down in there. I think I want to move this. Now that I'm looking at it through the camera. There we go. For the little pinwheels, I just had three of them and stuck them in there and fanned everything else out. No, this is not supposed to look perfect. It's supposed to look messy and spectacular, you know, like fireworks. There's no rhyme or reason to fireworks. Anyway, my little fireworks coming out the back there. Yep, there it is. <laughs> All of its messy, spectacular glory. And you know what? I'm pretty daggum happy with it. I like it. I hope that you like it. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.